The stone figurine is a naked woman. A nymph. I can't see anything peculiar. The stone figurine is a naked woman. A nymph. The two stone figures look almost identical. I can't see anything that could be of interest. It seems they're a bit more relaxed with nudity here in England. All right, I don't need to examine it in such detail. Huh. The lock on the letterbox seems to be damaged. Empty. Empty. I wouldn't even have dreamed of standing in front of this gate a few days ago. Huh. The braces on this door are badly weathered. The two have turned to rust and aren't even connected to the door frame at the bottom. A card from the Willow Creek area. It's marked where the murders took place 12 years ago. I want to find out what Angelina was looking for in the runes first. The castle looks real gloomy. The overgrown garden, the damp fog, and my current state of mind don't really help it seem any friendlier. The entire estate is probably enclosed by this fence. The aristocrats in this country don't really foster an open door culture. It looks just like the photo. It almost looks like time stood still here. The gate is bolted and made of solid iron. There's no way through there. An electric doorbell? I was expecting an old bell. Oh, nothing. Maybe it's broken. Oh, still nothing. No way. 
The braces are only connected to the frame on one side, but they're much more resistant than I thought. break this good lock picking tool. I need something bigger. I don't think I'm gonna get through this door using skill. There's a really thick branch lying in the undergrowth. Looks solid. It's damp, but not rotten. It must have broken off the tree quite recently. Maybe in the storm yesterday. Using this branch as a lever should work. That's it. Hey! How did you get in here? Uh, the gate was open. Really? I'll ring that brat's neck. I've told her a hundred times that the gate must always stay closed if we don't want your bows snooping around the grounds. If you're referring to me, I'm not a yobo. I'm a policeman. Oh, you don't say. Then you're sure to have ID. I, uh... Can I help you, sir? I've told Mr... Lewis, good sir. To you, it's just Lewis. You'll take care of this bit. Wonderful. You will have to excuse our gardener, sir. How can I help you? My name is Falk. Uh, I'm investigating a murder that occurred at the lighthouse last night. I heard about that. Terrible. But tell me, your accent? Um, I'm part of an exchange program. The United States, Canada, and Great Britain exchange detectives to, uh, to learn about the various investigative methods. Sherlock Holmes meets Dick Tracy, you might say. If the government deems it necessary. What about Inspector Collier? Shouldn't he be accompanying you? He's, uh, sick today. Ah, I see. He is getting on a bit. How can I help you? Phew. A witness saw an unusual black car at the crime scene. What do you mean by unusual? <coughs> the Gordon family does have a classic 30s English automobile in its possession. Unusual enough. Uh, were you up on the cliff with the car this morning? The ladies haven't driven out anywhere today. And I also don't think that Lewis has taken the car either. Ask him. 
He looks after the car. Mainly when he should be looking after the garden. This Lewis has a bit of an abrupt manner. He's... Welsh. Uh-huh. <coughs> he came with his mistress, Lady Eleanor, when she moved in here after the death of her husband. He used to look after her castle's gardens in Wales. He used to have a different kind of work ethic there. Lady Eleanor owns a castle in Wales? She does. Her husband, Sir Richard, was killed in a dreadful accident a few years back. She moved here soon after that. Interesting. You said ladies. Lady Victoria? She owns Black Mirror Castle, and Lady Eleanor is a relative of hers, from Wales. The ladies are the last of the Gordons. They reside here in the castle. Can I have a word with them? I would prefer it if you didn't disturb them. Lady Victoria is not a young woman. No harm in a few words, surely. Whatever there might be to discuss, you can also discuss with me. I've been involved with the Gordons for more than 70 years. I can tell you everything you may wish to know. This is an amazing property. Indeed. It's a place steeped in history. Unfortunately, all that history often had plenty to do with blood, death, and misfortune, from what I've heard. The Gordon family was often put to the test. That's true. Forgive me for putting it like this, but the castle doesn't make the best impression. I don't understand what that has to do with your inquiry, Mr. Falk. This woman has been murdered. Did you know her? Are you sure, sir? Sadly, yes. Um, uh, her name is Angelina Morgan. Uh, you seem to recognize her. I... Come with me, sir. We'll have to show this to the ladies. Uh, fine. One moment, please, sir. I'll announce your arrival. What was that in the mirror? Mr. Falk? Their ladyships are ready to receive you. Mr. Falk, is everything all right? Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, I didn't sleep well. Lady Victoria? Lady Eleanor. My name is Inspector Falk. Uh, I'm investigating a murder case. Bates said you had a photograph of the victim. That's right. Do you know her? What's her name? Angelina Morgan. I don't know her. If that's everything. I do have a few more questions. It's all right, Bates. Of course we will be glad to cooperate with the police. Drive to the village and do the job I asked you to do. I'm sure the inspector will keep us company. Very well, ma'am. So, how can we help you?
You seem to be extremely keen to see the picture of the dead woman. And Bates had a noticeable reaction when I showed him the picture. You are sure that you don't know this young lady? Quite sure. Only we are... concerned. The murder took place quite close to here. Not the first. Sadly, you're quite right. It's now. It's twelve years ago, you understand? So many years. And now there's another murder. Tell me about the series of murders twelve years ago. No. It doesn't have a thing to do with this crime. Leave all that alone. Please confine yourself to this murder case. This is quite bad enough already. May I look around the castle? Um, I'd very much like to talk to Lewis one more time. Of course. We have nothing to hide. Stay as long as you like. Only please keep away from the private rooms. That goes without saying. Ma'am. Your butler, Bates, seems to be looking after you. He has been our butler for decades. He is something like the decent soul of this house. He sees it as his highest duty to do all he can for my well-being. Also, even if he neglects his own welfare. Is he ill? Yes, I fear he is. We've often suggested that he sit with us and enjoy some peace and quiet for a while. But he always strictly denies that he can no longer fulfill his obligations. We've recently taken on domestic help to at least help him out a little. I'll go and take a bit of a look around. Of course. You've only been living here a few years, Lady Eleanor? That's right. I didn't want to live alone in a big house after my husband died. So you moved in with your relatives in Willow Creek and brought Lewis with you. Lewis was our gardener in Wales. He is sometimes a bit difficult, but I didn't have the heart to lay him off. I offered him to come with me and look after the garden here. Which he doesn't seem to do. Well, he didn't cope very well with having to leave his garden and his home in Wales. Lewis is here of his own free will. I don't understand why he doesn't give this new life a go. You are young, Mr. Falk. You don't know what it's like having to leave your home behind you. Lewis's roots are in Wales. A tree withers without roots. Why doesn't he go back then? I've suggested it to him. I promised him a small amount of money to start him off. First I thought he would do it, but then he stayed after all. Strange. He's a complicated man. He's been working for me for over 20 years, but I still don't have the feeling that I actually know him. I think he blames me for his unhappiness. He only ever speaks to me if it can't be avoided, and I can see that hate in his eyes. Tell me about your estate in Wales. It's a lovely castle. Not as big or old as this one. I haven't been back since we left. I'm afraid it's probably in a terrible condition. And the marsh has probably spread even further. It's terrible. I couldn't stomach seeing our home like that. We had many happy years there. When did your husband die? A few years ago, Sir Richard, my husband, was a scientist. He did his experiments in a summer house. 
I used to joke that he would blow himself up one day. I didn't really believe that that's exactly what would happen. Huh. I'm willing to bet that I was imprisoned in Lady Eleanor's castle. It all fits together perfectly. And the phone call would suggest that it wasn't chosen at random. Did she make her old estate available for the order to use? What kind of research was Sir Richard doing? He had very diverse interests. After the tragedy 12 years ago, he was mainly concerned with... Well... With blood. With blood? He was convinced that the Gordon's blood must somehow be different from that of other people. I think he was looking for a scientific explanation for all of the misery that has accompanied the family for hundreds of years. A curse in a test tube. Insanity is hereditary, as you may know. Why not misfortune? Or the misfortune is only the result of the hallucinations. Hmm. That explains what Angelina was looking for in Wales. She was hoping that Richard had found out something interesting before he died. I'm going to have another look around. Goodbye, Lady Eleanor. It's nice to see another face in this house. A basket of knitting gear. Wool, scissors, and that kind of thing. Uh, no. I don't want to look in there again. I'd say something like a knight or a nobleman. And judging by his clothing, he must have been around a hundred years ago. He seems somehow familiar. Probably an ancestor of the Gordons. Huh. The plant hasn't been here long. Considering the amount of light it gets, it's not gonna last long either. Why are the only candles burning here? A huge metal globe. A monstrous thing. There's some letters engraved in the stone plate on the globe's pedestal. There are... Names. A whole series of them. Wait a minute. The first name is Maximilian Mortimer Gordon. That's the name from Angelina's notes. Does that mean... Huh. I can't hear anything, but the stone slab could be the lid of a secret compartment in the globe's pedestal, and it would be an ideal hiding place for a piece of mosaic. Jeez, now that's a friendly looking face. That's how I imagine a bloodthirsty Russian czar would look like. Wild eyes, evil glare, and expensive clothes. 
I'm quite sure that he didn't earn the bling on his fingers and round his neck through hard work. A small fire for such an impressive fireplace. The old ladies here seem to be a lot tougher than back in the States. Over there, it'd be at least 82 degrees in every room. Uh, I'll have time to stare into the flames and be all melancholy when this is over. The chair looks inviting, but it's too early to have a rest. seems to have windows on every side. Perhaps it used to be a defense tower and was later converted. Maybe it just looked like that from the beginning. looks really lived in from here. There's light coming from many of the windows. Looks as if the ivy has killed the tree and is now attacking the house. Quite convenient for a burglar. But as long as I'm allowed to roam freely, I'm not going to start climbing around on the facade. That way leads deeper into the garden. It's all overgrown and fallen apart. I'd be better off staying away. I don't think I'm gonna find anything in this wilderness. I'd be better off concentrating on the castle. Even magpie in a raven suit has something I need. I bet the raven stole the piece of mosaic from Angelina's backpack. 
and brought it here to its nest. An ancient well. I can't imagine that it's still in use. Even this place must have a normal water supply by now. I bet the raven stole the piece of mosaic from Angelina's backpack. There used to be some sort of device hanging on this frame, which brought the water to the surface. An old wooden ladder. It seems to have been used a lot. The rungs are really worn and smooth. like that at all. I gotta be careful. Ravens have got hard beaks that are as sharp as knives. They can really make a mess of you. The critter starts pecking at my fingers as soon as I get near the nest. As long as the bird's in the nest, I've got no chance. The gate must have been replaced a short time ago. The wood still looks new. Uh, but I don't think there's anything suspicious about that. That's probably the Gordon's family coat of arms. I don't know anything about heraldry. There are complicated rules about creating and reading coats of arms. It probably means something like, We are a very old family, but unfortunately also quite insane. Please keep your distance. Lewis toolbox. Various wrenches, a cloth, a hammer, pliers, all the things you need. Huh. I think I'll take the big hammer. I could also use it as a weapon if I need to, which might be the case in this place. Uh, I don't need any more. If I do, then I know where I can find it. Huh. Ralph was talking about a shiny black car. Is this the one he saw? But who drove from the castle to the crime scene this morning? And what were they doing there? I don't even know about American cars of the last ten years. My knowledge of English cars from the first half of the century is absolutely zilch. Hey, Lewis!
You again? I thought you'd been thrown out. Lady Victoria gave me permission to have a look around the castle and the gardens. How nice of her. What do you want? What can you tell me about Lady Eleanor? If you want to know something about Lady Eleanor, then you better ask Lady Eleanor. She's her own favorite subject. You mean she's egotistical? She threw everything away and fled here in a mad rush after Sir Richard died. Who does such a thing? The castle and the garden in Wales reminded her of her dead husband. And she should have thought of the family history. You don't just give up an house where generations have lived and worked. How did her husband die? He blew himself up. Did all kinds of strange experiments. In the last years, he became obsessed with uncovering the secret of what drove Sir William and his sons insane. He hardly left his lab anymore, and collapsed in exhaustion more than once. <laughs> Her ladyship was very worried. What can you tell me about the castle? Nothing. A big, ugly building. With an overgrown garden. What have I got to do with that? Aren't you the gardener? My garden's a few hundred miles west of here. In Wales? That's right. So you just do the bare minimum here, if at all. The garden's too big for one man alone, and what's the point in looking after it? This whole place is doomed. The house is falling apart. The lady won't live for much longer, and Bates is as good as dead. You're hoping that Lady Eleanor will return to Wales when Lady Victoria dies? Perhaps. Bates seems to be very tired. He's terminally ill. The doctors say it's a miracle he's still alive. But let me tell you. Bates will kick the bucket on the very same day that Lady Victoria dies. Like a dog that follows its master. I think he just finds it unfitting to die before his mistress. He says he's worked for the Gordons for more than 70 years and, and that he knows all their secrets. I'd believe that at the drop of a hat. No one knows the castle and garden better than him. But when it gets to his own bonds, he's getting forgetful. The loyal soul. That's why they've given him Sally, I think. Lady Eleanor said she gave you the option of, of going back home to Wales, and even offered some money to get you set up. I don't know what that's got to do with you. I just find it strange. You desperately want to go back, and are even offered some money, too. And then? Work as a caretaker in a new bloody housing estate? I've offered more than once to look after the castle in Wales, and keep it in working order. But apparently there's not enough money for that. So, it's not so much about going back to Wales. It's more about going back to your castle and your garden. That's right. What you really want is to turn back time. Unfortunately, that's never been possible. Lewis, do you believe in ghosts? Uh, some tourists claim they've seen some here. Oh, yeah, yeah, the reputed ghost. <laughs> they besieged us for weeks on end after Murray planted that rumor. A whole pack of them completely trashed the garden. That's a nice car. Certainly is. The only decent surprise here. I discovered it behind the stables, built it back up from scratch. My father used to work on a car like this and he taught me quite a bit. Do you sometimes take it out for a spin? To the coast, for example? I drive the ladies. They used to still have bloody horses in the stable, 
but looking after them was too much effort for the old folks. Now, this is the only pair of wheels. But the ladies don't leave the house much at all. Bates usually walks to the village. He says it's good for his health. <laughs> but every time it takes a bit longer. You weren't at the coast with the car this morning? No. Well, um... See you later. Not if I see you first. He is devotedly working on his car. It seems to mean more to him than the garden. The best of British technology. At least it used to be. There's nothing about the well that interests me, and hopefully nothing in the well either. Apparently, these things are to blame for the English still driving on the left. If you were to guide your horse with your right hand, you'd run the risk of being squashed between the wagons. Judging by its condition, the car was probably in use up until a few years ago. But it's been standing there for some time now. An old wooden staircase probably leads to the stableman's room. I don't want to go up there. Doesn't look very sturdy. Hello. Oh, hello. A living soul, eh? My name is Falk, Inspector Falk. I'm a policeman. A copper? How exciting. I'm Sally. Do you know this woman? Hmm. Never seen her before. Looks a bit like a snob. You and Bates uh, look after everything here? Well, uh, looking after. Bates does most of that. He lets me do all the dirty work. Cleaning, cooking, and all that sort of thing. Isn't that your job? That's what he says all the time. But being honest, I'd expected something quite different, you know? I mean, a castle with such knobs living in it. You'd expect the odd soiree every now and again. Or a uh, cute prince. Well, Charles is off the market now. But anyone under 80 would do this place a world of good. Sometimes it really does seem like a grave here. Is Lady Victoria a good boss? I don't know. Bates hardly lets me talk to her. When I first came here, I made her ladyship a few suggestions on how she might want to redecorate the castle a bit. 
Just get rid of a bit of the mustiness, you know? Since then, I always have to ask Bites if I want something from a ladyship. What's wrong with Lady Eleanor? What could be wrong with her? Snore. Sits around all day either knitting or reading. Anything else? She plays piano for Lady Victoria every now and again. In this house, that counts as having a wild party. You know, it's about time I got myself another position. You want to leave? Yeah, sooner rather than later. Maybe to a... Uh, movie or a pop star's house. Somewhere where things are a bit lively at least. What can you tell me about Lewis? A disgusting man. Ugh. I was open when I started. He wouldn't be a snob like all the others are here. But he's just as boring and in a permanent bad mood. I never get more than three words out of him. Lewis seems to take care of his car rather better than the garden. That's for sure. Ever since I've been here, he's been doing something to it nearly every day. And when he's not fixing it, he's either polishing or driving around in it. Has he driven it this morning? This morning? Um, yeah, yeah, he did. I heard him starting it up. You can't help but hear that. But you didn't see him? I know exactly what that car sounds like. When he's working on it, he must start at something like 20 times a day. But you weren't able to see whether or not Lewis or somebody else was driving it. Lewis is the only one who drives that car. Hmm. Okay. Can you tell me anything about Samuel's ghost? Apparently it's been seen by a few tourists. Oh yeah! I've seen it too, out one of the windows. It scared the living daylights out of me. A gruesome face. I hope I'll never see it again. Huh, that's true. At which window? I don't remember exactly. I think it was in the Forbidden Wing. Forbidden Wing? Yeah, you know, what's behind the locked door in the hall. I don't suppose there are pictures of all the cooks who have worked here, by any chance? No, no idea. Must be ages ago, though, since there was an actual cook here. Ask Bates, he knows everything. Uh, I'd prefer not to ask either him or Lady Victoria. Then I don't know either. Okay, I won't keep you from your work any longer. Ah, don't worry about it. An empty vase. It looks old, like everything here. The door is bolted. Might lead to a storeroom or a cellar. Oh, excellent. Transylvania may be somewhere in Romania, but don't worry, we're ready for undead in this castle, too. A coffee grinder is the last thing I'd have expected in an English castle, but it looks really new and unused. 